Good morning, Grace Community Church. Welcome as we come to day two in our 30-day reading in the Psalms. The Psalms for today are Psalms 6 through 10. And so the Psalm I've chosen for my devotion this morning is Psalm 8 with this marvelous line. It was a Sandy Patty song, I think, years ago. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And that's the answer to the first question I'm asking today. Who is God revealed to be in this psalm? What titles are given to him? What attributes? And the psalmist wants you to get that one point, doesn't he? <clears throat> because you see at the beginning, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. And then at the end of the psalm, verse 9 again, O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Majestic is magnificent. It is preeminent. It is splendid. It is great. In fact, I think you could say uh, majestic means that God is greater than fill in the blank, greater than the mountains, greater than the stars, greater than the seas, greater than our enemies, greater than obstacles, greater than barriers, greater than anything, greater than our sin. God is greater. God is on the throne as the Lord capital L-O-R-D, which is the covenant God, and the Lord, the King, the Mighty One, the Ruler. Both terms are used there in verse 1. Well, how is God acting in this psalm? What's he doing or what has he done? Well, it says he has set his glory in the heavens, verse 1. God is glorious and on display in what has been created by him whether the heavens, the moon, the stars, everything, God's glory is on display. He has established strength, it says. Verse 2, he has established strength. The picture there is of a tower of stronghold, but these words are coming out of the mouths of infants and babies. The weakest, the most vulnerable are protected and strong because of who God is, and God is establishing that strength for his people today. He makes the weakest strong. Well, who is the psalmist? What are his circumstances or emotions? Well, he starts out by humility and a sense of awe in acknowledging that God is the creator of all these things. And when he looks at them, verse 3, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you're mindful of him? The son of man that you care for him. Man and son of man. There he uses very humble terms like man is frail. Son of man is from the earth. And yet, verse 3, you have made this man, this woman, these people, a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned them with glory and honor. And so there's a, there's a dignity here. We're created and fashioned by God in his image. That's what God is doing. And that's who the psalmist is. So how do these two things come together? Who God is and uh, who the psalmist is. Well, he says, verse 6, you have given him dominion over the works of his hand, your hands. So there's a purpose here that God has given us. This creator God who has created us with dignity and set us in this position of dominion, we are over all the earth. We, you've put all things under our feet, sheep, oxen, beasts, birds of the heavens, the fish, whatever passes along the seas. There's this sense of purpose and dignity and dominion so that we take dominion over this earth. Even in the current crisis, we aren't powerless. We don't just wring our hands, though, wash them, yes. Uh, we are looking at new ways to treat patients. We are taking steps to uh, social distancing and other things to minimize the impact. We are working toward a vaccine. That, that's what humans do. They take dominion over this earth. And we're doing so even in this crisis. Well, then, what's expected of me in this psalm, the fifth situation? It is a call to sing his praises, to sing, O Lord, O Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth, and particularly to sing of the majesty of Christ. For you see, in Hebrews chapter 2, this passage is quoted and it's quoted of him 
and used in reference to him. It says, you have made him a little lower than the angels, the incarnation of Christ. You crowned him with glory and honor and put everything in subjection under Christ's feet. The dominion that is Christ, the ruler who is Christ. Now, in putting everything in subjection to him, nothing is outside his control. At present, we don't see all this. But we see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because of his suffering and death and then through his resurrection that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. And so it's Christ and his majesty here as the God of the heavens who became a man, who tasted death for us and now has been raised up in a position of glory and honor over all. So we say, O oh, our Christ, how majestic is your name. And how fitting we do so this week, because this coming Sunday is Palm Sunday, and this text is used a second time of Christ in Matthew chapter 21. And you can read that. It's the triumphal entry when Christ comes into Jerusalem, riding on that donkey. And he comes, and they're, they're, they're shouting, Hosanna, son of David. And the, the rulers there are uh, opposed to Christ. And when they see these people shouting out, Hosanna, son of David, this is Matthew 21, 15, they're indignant. And they said to him, do you hear what they're saying? And Jesus said, yes, have you never read? Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies, you have prepared praise. And so we are humble people. And yet a people of dignity worship Christ. We exercise some dominion now but we will one day rule and reign with him forever as he comes to reign over all and we rule with him. And there's no more virus and there's no more uh, injustice and there's no more suffering, no more tears, and we await that day. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you have sent your son, the majestic one who rules over all, the one who has all dominion, who reigns in all power and authority and glory. And so we worship the Christ. And we praise you that you have raised us up in him to this position of dignity and dominion. And we pray that we would properly exercise the authority you've given us as we wait for Christ to establish his authority over all. And so we give you the glory. We say, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Amen.